TechScan presents Evaluating Closures Topics Identifying the closure in the graph and the black force line characteristics Identify the closure in the graph To evaluate a patient's bite during closure you first need to identify the key areas to observe The closure is located on the graph at the initial rise of the black force line and ends when the black line nears its peak. Watch as we use the zoom feature to focus in on this area. First click on the magnifying glass and then click and drag a box around the beginning of the graph. Black force line characteristics now that we've defined the closure on the graph, the black total force line can help the dentist locate interferences. Here are some examples of the black force lines. The first example shows the black force line steep and smooth. This indicates that your patient can readily close their teeth together without much resistance. The second example demonstrates a hitch. This occurs when the forces rise and then quickly fall before rising further. This can indicate your patient has a specific interference that prohibits normal closure. In the next example, the gradually rising forces indicates a slow closure, while the jaggedness suggests that the patient is experiencing low-level muscle spasms. The last example shows the black force line exhibiting a plateau, which may indicate the patient experiencing discomfort and as a result is reluctant to close. This is usually seen in TMD patients who demonstrate muscular weakness. In recap and review, evaluate closure between the rise and peak and it is positive to see steep and smooth black force lines. Hitches, jaggedness, and plateauing may indicate issues with patients.